Chinese President Xi has said that Beijing will continue to support Pakistan in stabilizing its financial situation. This was quoted by the Chinese state media in a news report covering Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif's meeting with the Chinese president earlier today. Xi also said that China and Pakistan should move forward more effectively with the construction of the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, as well as accelerate the construction of infrastructure for the Gwadar Seaport. During the meeting, the two leaders agreed to strengthen the strategic partnership between Islamabad and Beijing, as well as multilateral cooperation in various areas, including the CPEC. PTI Chairman Imran Khan has said that his movement for Hakiki Azadi will continue for the next 10 months. The former Prime Minister has made the comments while addressing participants of his party's long march in Gagkar, Punjab. Khan has also asked the institutions that if they were neutral, what was stopping them from holding free and fair elections? The former premier asserted that he would not accept the incumbent government at any cost and would rather die than bow down to these thieves. The federal government has moved to Islamabad High Court seeking cancellation of post-arrest bail granted to Pakistan Tariq Insaf leader Azam Swati. The government has stated in the petition that judge exceeded authority in granting bail to the lawmaker. The former lawmaker was arrested earlier this month in a case registered against him over a controversial tweet thought to be against the armed forces. Since his arrest, Swati has alleged he was stripped and tortured and has named two military officials behind his ordeal. The mother of slain journalist Arshad Sharif, in a letter to Chief Justice of Pakistan Umar Atta Bandial, written on Wednesday, requested the formation of a high-powered judicial commission to investigate her son's murder. Sharif was shot dead in Kenya allegedly by the local police on the night of 23rd October, with an official police statement later expressing regrets on the unfortunate incident and saying an investigation was underway. In the letter, Mother Rifat Ara Alvi alleged that the real reasons of the case are being concealed and must be brought to light. She argued that this was evident since the Kenyan police kept changing its stance on the death three to four times. She added that the federal ministers were airing different fabricated stories regarding the death even before the investigation team went to Kenya. Sharif's mother also claimed that PM Shabazz Sharif initially announced requesting Islamabad High Court to appoint a higher power judicial commission but later formed a commission comprising a retired judge and two government officials, thus indicating the government's malified intentions.